Hello Internet. So yeah, I'm doing things a bit differently today. I'm putting up more than one video for um, Tactics Ogre. I mean, I know I say it's like a daily thing, but I just want to get past this part in the game. And then I can just go back to doing dailies. I mean, theoretically, I could just put like one of these up every day and then get back to it. But I want to keep playing it every day, so it's, I just want to keep on the schedule I have. But uh, yeah, you know, before I begin, just a quick note about um, Unsung Story is that they added the uh, Humble Bundle widget to their donation page. So you can check that out if you have a Humble Bundle account and then be all like, oh dude, I want to totally add to the the uh, donation amount for this game and hopefully it reaches the stretch goal because that'd be awesome. I love me some New Game Plus and hopefully you do too because I would I would really like that in the the version of the game. But yeah, before I, before I hit start in the video, I completely forgot um, where I'm at in the game right now. So basically we just cleared Balma Musa and a lot of stuff happened, but we're immediately thrown into battle here, so right now I'm getting some skills for my my, my units. <laughs> yeah. So, you know, for... Jeez, do I have anything? I think I'll get anatomy, because, like I said in the last video, the human enemies are basically, the majority of the time, you'll be facing them, so it's pretty good to have this ability. That's the most common enemy you'll be facing. Uh, let's see what I want to learn for Kasha here. Let's see. Channeling. I'd say channeling and um, expand mine are two really good ones. I have to be level, what for this? Level 9? Ugh, whatever. be one for oh sidestep I already got it okay so that's the ranged avoidance should be one on here but also what I'm doing with my characters I'm only giving them one ability at a time so I can know when I need to get another skill slot because <laughs> sometimes you can go a bit overboard and it takes forever to get the skill slot abilities because they're 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 more they're more skill points than all the other other skills in the game so it's just like you know I always make sure that I get like one ability per um for for uh, skill point learned. Like right now, this character has anatomy, and then they're full on their abilities. And I'll have to give them. Uh, and the next thing I'll be learning for them is add skill slots. So yeah. Ah, oh, this character needs a skill slot. So yeah. And that's basically just how I roll with the, uh, the abilities on here. Four. Yeah. And then I ah oh, see there's there's magic but I, I like the magic the way it works in this game it's kind of weird so I kind of haven't done any learning of the magic for a lot of the characters yet so yeah or the the characters that use magic anyway I haven't really done a lot of that stuff so yeah Let's see level twelve ugh. It'll be a while before I can get that level, that ability. Let's see, do I have sidestep? Yes. I'll add a skill slot since I just did that. Um, is there anything else I need? Splash drag to. I think augment light. See, I'm confused on if augment light is helpful if you have only um non-offensive abilities, so I haven't been giving a lot of characters that. Okay, here's the dude I wanted to learn, the, uh, infusion. But I, I don't think he's met the level requirement, so yeah. Level 8? Oh, he's almost there. Okay, so I'll just hold out until... I, I don't have anatomy. Oh, I do. Okay, so he's good. And Canopus, let's see. He's got... Okay, he needs another skill slot. And... Sidestep. Wait, 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 do I already have... Hold on. Because I have strength. There's another... I think it's constitution. There's another ability that I want that'll... Yeah, that's a good buff. So I could hold out for that. I don't really need... 
Go fortify. That's that's it. I think. Actually, well, mm, and yeah, I think I'll hold out for him to get something else. Let's see. Sidestep. Do I have sidestep? No, I don't. Okay. Yeah, sorry about this, but like I just like I started the video and I didn't. I completely forgot I didn't do this yet, so. And I don't want to start over, so I'm just going to go ahead and... I guess it'll be like a nice refresher if you didn't like know what, like, what abilities I'm rolling with right now, so. Okay, this character. And a shot. Constitution. I'll take that. Actually, wait, wait, wait. There's one that doesn't have true flight yet. I believe... Tremendous right. shot, bow's trajectory. Okay. So now my archer's on the same level as far as like the abilities I have. However, I will like deviate the same or different skills from them so they're not like so they can uh complement each other on the battlefield in different ways. Like one has certain abilities, the other doesn't, to make up for their, the other one's shortcomings and whatnot. But yeah, that's, looks like we're done with the. I would go into equipment, but it's like, dude, we got this. Let's do it. So it looks like we're another 10 men battle. Let's see if it takes 40 minutes or more <laughs> again. <laughs> Back at Bomba Musa. But yeah, then like another thing as far as like after this video is done, I'm going to make another video that has a, uh, not a recap per se, but it has a different, the different choices that you can make that of like the part I just came from and like the cutscene that plays that's different from the one that I had to like have like a compare and contrast of all the different outcomes. But I don't think I have like all the outcomes in the game, so that could be, it's like whatever, I'll just do the ones I have and then whatever. <laughs> I mean, I have like most of the main ones. It's just like when I, whenever, if I ever go back to do like any of the side stuff, I won't. I don't think I'll have like all the main ones, but or all of them. But it's, it's cool, whatever. But that was another reason I like this game is that it was a lot like, or it was similar to Mass Effect in that regard, where it has the you know no two playthroughs are the are the same, and you don't know like what's gonna happen as far as. What happens if you choose certain this decision is to affect certain outcomes? Okay, this is an ah oh, this map, dude. So we're, yet again we're at the bottom, so my archers are at a disadvantage here. Move this character this way. Yeah, yet again, it's going to take forever to get to the enemy, but whatever. Let's see, there's at least two archers. That's... Ugh. It's like, yeah, I was thinking, after that character got attacked, I was like, wow, I probably should have put counterattack on, huh? <laughs> Oh well, too late. I think only Denim and then Canopus have that right now. Well, Vice did, but he totally left us, so you know. Oh, can I go that way? Oh, that's a dead end, because I can't jump up from there. It's not gonna hit him. Okay. I wonder why it says zero. I might have. I'm thinking I might have a piece of gear on him that has like no. Which call it? 
Ah, Stoneproof. There we go. I was like, there's got to be a... There's got to be a reason he has that. For not getting hit by that, I mean. Playing this game for over an hour today, so it's <laughs> kind of weird. Because <laughs> like the goal, or like one of the cool things I liked about doing this every day was like it was like a nice break. If you just play it, and then be like, okay, that's that's my my daily session of this game. But like when you play it for like more than that, it kind of it doesn't get to the to the point where you're fatigued. It's just like a bit. It does like wear a bit. It's like because you're so used to just play that one session. And since the battles in this game are just so long and drawn out, it's just like, you know, this is a game I would... Like, that's why it works as far as, like, being on a handheld. You can just bust it open and play a battle. Be on your way. <laughs> and then like, come back to it whenever you have some more free time. But I never played it like this where it's just hooked up to a monitor and it's like, you know... Extended extended play sessions like I did with tactics even though it is like the same type of game It's just a different experience like the games where this one's like the battles are just that much longer and a bit more draining Whereas uh, tactics is not so much or lion war. I mean, I'm sorry. I keep I keep doing that I don't think there's oh there's a way up from there. Okay, is there no you can't get up to the building can, can you I don't think you can I guess I'll find out Oh, but I can still attack from there, so that's cool. Oh, I forgot to give him mighty impact, dude. I, whatever. Fell. <laughs> Fell. Ooh, nice. Some water. Oh, dude. I completely forgot about the crafting system in this game. It's not even funny. Like, ugh. There's crafting in this game, and even that itself is just, you know, another another layer of awesome, if you will. Oh, what? 72%. Okay, I'll keep my units back a bit here. But I cannot reach Dimnum from here, so that's a problem. And then also today I will be putting up some uh, other videos as soon as the PlayStation Store finally gets updated. <laughs> the Plus and Live deals will be going up. Um, the weekly comic book talks is going up, and then the massive video is already up by the time this video is. You're seeing it because I, I actually just saw the confirmation on YouTube because I have the, that window open as I'm doing this that the video has been uploaded. So can check out the, I believe it's part 68 of Quest for the Best. Um, but yeah, the, uh, that, that video's up. And then there's like three of these going up today for Technics Ogre, so you know, check those out. Well, or not, they're, they're kind of long, <laughs> so you know, maybe check them out over the coming days. <laughs> oh, I hate poison. I, I hate poison. Why poison? Ugh. Ugh. Okay, see, Cannabis is cool because it gives him versatility, like right now. I could move him anywhere else because he can fly away, but because we have this character like cornered in here, we can just I can keep him here and he can do his melee attacks with his axe. They still do pretty good damage, so I, I love Cannabis. Such a great character. I mean, I mean, like as far as like being like an awesome character, on top of like being an awesome character on the battlefield too. That's that's what I mean. I'm not trying to like fanboy out of like, oh, Cannabis is so awesome, my favorite character in the game. I guess like I said in the last video, dude, it's, it's like Orlando or Sid in a Lion War. Pretty powerful, pretty useful, and just cool, cool, cool dude. <laughs> Or, you know, Rex, Rex from Mass Effect comes to mind. <laughs> Though I'm a bit of a biased Rex fan, so that, that doesn't count. Because, you know, these two are just, like, useful and they're cool. Whereas, like, Rex is just an awesome character, too, so. 
that didn't make sense because cool and awesome were the same word, but I kind of kind of interchangeable there. I actually just showed up. I think I'll just shut up. Yeah. Back to the let's play. I really like a finishing move. Just saying, like finishing moves are awesome. I would like to have one. I'd also like to have an ability or a character that has the ability to remove poison. That would be great too. Well, then I guess I'll just have to settle for healing because, yeah. It's really weird, like, his percentage on hits with his magic has gone up, but I'm not sure if that's because I put on the, um, I gave him a skill that spell strike, so I'm not sure if that's because of that or what, if he's, like, higher level now, and because of spell strike or what. Because a couple of bellas ago, he was missing every time he cast that spell, so I'd like to imagine that my decision to give him those abilities was, was paying off there. Are done. Fly over here because you know. Oh, there's a witch. Oh, there's a there's a. Oh, I can take out that that uh wizard dude. <sighs> Dang it! Oh, jeez. Okay. Hopefully this hits from here. I could do Tremendous Shot, but he's already dead if Shepard gets another turn, so... Or when Shepard gets another turn, so it's over for him. Or it's over for him? Oh, yeah, okay. Man, no finishing move? <laughs> Still no finishing move? Come on. that night heal him since he's gonna take damage from the poison. Oh, I guess I have the yeah Don 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 Alto there, so uh -huh. five Can't move out. Okay, I was thinking the the knight had such a bad movement that he wouldn't be able to jump up from the uh, seven to the nine elevation. <laughs> he would just be stuck. He wouldn't be able to do that. I'd have to go the other way around. Oh, I didn't give him mighty impact either. Jeez. Yeah, it's funny, I've been playing this game, I don't know, since like, it's been a couple hours, at least, because it's been since one, so it's been at least an hour, and yeah, I'm just thinking to myself, dude, it's Wednesday, the comp new comic books have come out, and I'm just burning the time that I have to read them, <laughs> it's like, dude, new comic book day, new comic book day, that's what like, yeah, the little itch on the back of my brain is telling me. I was like, play this all day long. Because I have to podcast later on, so it's like, ugh, like, time, dude, time. It's slipping away. 
gonna have to make that other part of the Plus and Live Deals video whenever the PlayStation Store gets updated, so it's like, ugh. Hopefully I have enough time. There's also another video, like I said earlier, that I want to do after this one with all the different consequences after you make your choice at Bama Musa, so, hmm, we'll see. I guess that's like the one thing, and I, or not, not one thing, <laughs> I keep saying that like the one thing, like there's only one thing, or another thing I like about this one is, or uh, Tactics Over versus Line War is that on the cutscenes that they're narrated, so you know how to pronounce stuff, <laughs> instead of having to like be like, oh I think this is pronounced like this, or this should be said like this, so maybe it's this, I don't know, guesswork. Let's take out these, where's that wizard dude? Oh, I ran away. There's a witch right there, but too far away. Alright, one more. He's down. Oh, nice. I can hit the witch from here. So I'll go ahead and take a tremendous shot because I don't have a finishing move, I don't think, so. I should be able to bring the other one over, maybe, and finish her off, so we'll see. Oh jeez, I need to heal that little John, he's got like 70 HP, so... I'll do that with the cleric over there. Yeah, cause I think Kosh will cover Shepherd, so I'm good there. Yep. Shepherd, I guess I'll this way like everybody else is going. The direct route seems to be the shortest. Okay, that's where there's an archer like all the way up there and he's not attacking, so it's like what? That's weird. And now they're going after my healers. Or healer. Since it's the only dude they're attacking is uh, Don Alto. I really want to go for that witch man, but it's like too far away. The, ar the arrow won't hit, so. I probably should have a tremendous shot on that one. I think whenever I get to like 100 tactical points with my archers, I'll just go ahead and rip the, uh. The witch call it. <laughs> the, uh. Derp a derp. <laughs> tremendous shots, jeez. I can't attack downward, but I can attack her. Oh, he's dead. He should be dead. Yep. What? Oh, dude, I don't know if I can get to a part where I can... Hold on. I should be able to... Arch the arrow over. Yeah. Be healed. Oh, 
dude, it's so funny. I just thought about this. Like, the knight's just sitting here, of course, and I'm just, like, not even looking at him with my archers. I'm just looking at the other characters on the map, and I'm like, if I would just team up on this guy with the other two melee units right by him, I could probably take him out a lot faster, but I'll go ahead and keep doing what I'm doing. A more balanced plan of attack here. Oh, dude, I just realized I have him cornered in the corner there, so that's, yeah, he can just sit up there and not do anything. Since I don't have a mighty impact or anything, it's going to be a kind of long, atricious battle here. Because skill points. <laughs> Done, and then I'll move him back since he's got like been attacked by everybody else. <laughs> It's interesting because in my first playthrough, I'm pretty sure I did not have a a makeup of characters like this in my party. I switched out like I was not using wizards for sure, for, but this time I was like, well, dude, I want to have a more balanced <laughs> approach. Because like towards the end, when you get more, well, you have to play through like multiple times before you get like a really awesome like party setup. But you know, before then, it's just a matter of you know where do I find the balance. But I never really got like a good balance going so. It was mostly offensive, but this time I'm going to try to have like multiple character classes. You know, just like rely on having super awesome offensive characters, so we'll see what happens. I'll keep this, this setup going for as long as I can, and then I'll go to uh... I should hopefully get... Or I should buy, eventually get some cool guest characters that have awesome abilities and skills and whatnot, but it's been a while since I've played, so I'm not sure if that's the case or not. But yeah, I'm super, I'm just, I'm just happy, like, after looking at the amount of time I've been playing today that I've not had to retry any battles. <laughs> like, I've got them all in the first try, so I'm pretty good as far as, like, getting the hang of this, or getting back in the saddle, or what have you. So I was afraid since I hadn't played in such a long time, I'd be, I'd lost my touch. I guess after playing Lion War for, you know, a let's play, like transitioning to this isn't that much of a, of a, um, isn't too hard of a tra transition from that because a lot of the abilities carry over or the <laughs> there's a lot of overlap in like you know game mechanics and whatnot so it's nothing too crazy one is just a bit more crazier than the other Can I do that?
Oh, dude. That is a... That's... Yeah. That sucks. That's a finishing move, but you get two hits with it, so it's like... That's a really powerful finishing move, and I'm lucky he did not kill that character. Did he have 200 when he did that? Hold on. Yeah, yeah, no, he had 139. But yeah, that's... That was lucky. <laughs> right, let's finish off this night here. Tremendous shot time. Oh, dude, 1 HP. <laughs> 1 HP left. So close. It's like, haha, I finally got someone with a stone throw. Watch him like fire back with the finishing move on his next turn and almost kill Canopus or something. That would be very annoying. <laughs> well, he fired back, but it wasn't a finishing move, so we're cool. is too far away. What? Alright, whatever. <laughs> we'll be able to reach him with that guy, so... Or that archer that's not a dude. <laughs> not that guy, but, uh... That archer. Oh, do I finish it? No, I didn't. Oh my gosh.
victory. So yeah. Ooh, broadsword. There's something I wanted to check on the... Whoa, the map is different. I can't go back to Amarca. Huh. But, um... There's something I wanted to check in here. I don't remember what it was. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ra Ravnus to see, like, what was up with her, um... Her whatchamacallit. <laughs> her whatchamacallit. There we go. Wallister, who once served with the Knights of Amarca... Okay, she was of mixed blood, the child of a Wallister father and a Gagastani mother. Okay. Okay. So she was of mixed blood. Which is weird, they, like, they kept saying like she was of mixed blood, but I was like, what does that mean? <laughs> what does that mean if you're blood? <laughs> Can they just say mixed ethnicity? Whatever. That's it for this video. Wow, 51 days into the campaign. Well, I guess 51 days in game, not 51 days in Let's Play, because that'd be really like part 51 by now, but that's not the case. Seven hours in? Almost eight? Yeah. I'm going to try to get this Victories Without Chariot Tarot, because I can do it. So yeah. Because there's, there's probably a title for that. Oh, what's my title now, actually? It's probably... Oh, yeah, I was about to say probably nothing good since I just... Killed all those people. Butcher of Golia. Yeah, that's. I'm a butcher now. Not the cooking kind. Carried out Duke Ronway's chilling plan to slay the 5,000 innocent people. <laughs> they never said 5,000. They said. Why would they might have said 5,000? But now that I like have it quantified, I feel even worse about it. But, uh. Whatever, dude. And if we get a little Wheel of Fortune, we're now in Chapter 2. I will fear no approach. Chapter 1 is done. I'll be making a video of the uh, different outcomes at the end of chapter one. So yeah. So yeah, and then you can see on the bottom left it has the uh, little the tree. So we're on the bottom, which is the lawful path. So yeah, even though we killed all those people, but yeah, <laughs> that's a whole other story. whole other video. But um, let me save it here. That's it for this video. So you know, thank you. feel free to like, comment, subscribe, favorite, share it with your friends or not. And until you see or hear from me again, I'll be back with more videos on my channel. And uh, thanks for watching. And I'm now... Oh, wait, wait, wait. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to check out Insung Story. i got some links in the description there. And uh, I'm now signing off.